hi, this is Stacy with Lily Bean Crafts by Stacy. Welcome back, and if it's your first time, thanks for stopping by. Today's tutorial is based off of the very last Christmas tumbler that I made for the holiday season for a good friend of mine's mom. And she picked out this vinyl sheet for her mom, and I got this from Gracefully Created. And I found this style that I'm making from another creator, um, Ilka Munoz. She creates the most beautiful vinyl striped tumblers. And I just liked the way that I had seen one of her handled ones and I just decided to recreate it in my own way. So I'm starting off by just cutting the um, vinyl sheet to the size I need for the tumbler. And I'm using a 20 ounce hogdal from the Stainless Depot. And I went ahead and I cleaned it and I prepped it and I cut little slits in the vinyl to go around the handle. The handle on this particular tumbler is pretty thick, so it needs to be, um, the vinyl is going to need to be cut out with an X-Acto knife a little bit, but I just wanted to start with just slits in the vinyl so that I can get it on there, and then I'll trim everything as I get it going. I am going to use the hinge method, so I did cut just with some scissors, just two little slits to start, at the handle and now I'm just going to very carefully take it and bring it around the entire tumbler and then get started on the next step. So here I am just um, trimming out the excess vinyl that I did not need and um, putting that to the side. And then, like I said, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm just going to trim out where the vinyl was coming up onto the handle so that it's going to look all seamless because I am going to be making the handle a pretty important piece of the tumbler. So I want to make sure that I get full glitter coverage over the entire thing. And I decided that I was going to do two different glitter colors with this tumbler. So once I have the vinyl on, I'm going to take painter's tape and cover all of the, um, all of the vinyl. And then I'm going to spray paint with um, Color Shots um, Stiletto to get this red color on the handle and on the very bottom of the tumbler. And then I'm going in using the glitter glue method to apply Candy Apple from Chase Ray Creations. And I do have a discount code for them, so I'll go ahead and I'll link that in the description. And then as soon as I get that on, I'm going to immediately take off all of the painter's tape because I just don't like to have painter's tape sitting on vinyl for too long. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for roughly about four hours. And then I'm going to seal all of the red glitters and then once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead in with painter's tape again, cover everything, and um, spray paint the um, leftover stripe with avocado or guac something guacamole from Color Shots. Sorry about that. And I'm going to spray paint that. And then now I'm going in with my glitter glue again, and I'm going to apply 
Olive Dream from Peachy Olive Glitters to this green section and let this dry and then I will then go ahead and seal that as well. Now that everything is sealed and dry, I am going to go in with my first 15 mls of my Flynn Sisters Facet Epoxy. When I'm applying epoxy to a tumbler that is half vinyl, I like to get the vinyl coverage covered with the epoxy first because there is a chance that there's still going to be little stragglers of glitter even though I have it sealed and I try to get as little glitter as possible onto the vinyl. So now I'm going in and covering the bottom section making sure that I've got it covered completely and then I'm going to go ahead and stop my spinner and very carefully apply the epoxy to the handle. I was able to move on after just one coat. I had gotten such good coverage on there that after four hours of it sitting, I was ready to move on. And now I am moving on to more of the vinyl work. I decided that I wanted to make a little circle from the vinyl, so I just cut out a two inch circle with my Cricut and applied it. And then I also wanted to apply the vinyl to the handle. Since the handle is thick enough, you can see a good amount of the vinyl. So I just measured that out to where I needed it to be and trimmed it. I wanted to bring it in thin enough so that you could see some of the glitter around the vinyl as well, because I just thought that would be such a beautiful little addition to it to see that great sparkly red glitter um, right next to the vinyl. And for my detail striping, I am using a silver textured vinyl that I got from Amazon, and I will link it in the description. So I just cut out two thicker lines off of my Cricut, and I'm just going to go ahead and put them um, one where the separation is between the vinyl and the green, and the other one between the green and the red to give it um, some detail work. And then I also cut out a couple of thinner lines. Um, I'm putting a line, a detail line right here next to the handle. That is where the separation is between the two pieces of the vinyl. And I just wanted to cover that up. And then I went ahead and decided to put another one on the other side of it so that it looks uniform <clears throat> and as if I planned it on purpose. I also decided to do a detail line around the circle um, on the bottom with the vinyl. So I just wanted to show you how I made that. I started off with a circle that was two inches on my Cricut, and then I added another one. I changed it to white so that I can see. I made this one a little bit smaller, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna align it so that I can make sure that it's even all the way around. I'm gonna grab both of them and slice it and that is how I made that. And then I'm going to cut that out on my Cricut with the same textured vinyl. And I'm going to very carefully um, weed that because it's amazing how, with how small the line is, that it just peels up. And now I'm going to go ahead and using my transfer tape, apply that around the vinyl. And it just adds such a cute extra detail and see, as you can see, it is not so easy to apply, but I was able to work it and get it. And now I'm gonna go in and add two more thinner lines um, right next to the other detail lines that I have, just to add a little bit extra, and then we will be just about done.
just to make sure that all of this detail work stays in place I'm going to add a little bit of clear nail polish to all of the edges because there's nothing worse than being done with a tumbler and thinking that you just need a little bit of epoxy and then having some of it lift and then you have extra work to do so I always like to add this extra step let this dry and then we will get over to the epoxy I am going in with 10 mls of my fast set epoxy applying this really good and then I will let it dry for four hours I will sand everything down and then go in with another 10 mls of my Flynn sisters medium viscosity artist cure resin let that spin for eight to ten hours and then it will be all done and here is the final product it came out so pretty the colors are just beautiful together and I love how the handle looks and if you like this tutorial please hit that like and subscribe button check out my Lily Bean Crafters community Facebook group and I'll see everybody again next week bye bye